my butt's too thick. Okay, here we go. All right, give it a try, buddy. That's it. That is actually it. All right. <laughs> and now I turn it on. <laughs> Well, day 5,000 or whatever, being stuck in quarantine, and while most people are losing their mind, some good things have happened. There's a 20% drop in air pollution, means China can finally breathe again. Chipotle is now delivering burritos for free. And I finally got the chance to take a hard break from work and focus on making some major changes in my life. Let's see how it's going. Yes, it's another great day to be me. Alexa, fuck off. Okay, so today is a good day, and I'll tell you why. Because today we are finally going to sacrifice a goat. What? So I moved in here about four months ago, and I'm going to be honest, I have spent most of the time working and pretty much getting the rest of the house set up. And the thing I spent the least amount of money and time on was my room. As you can see here, I have a mattress on the floor, no bed frame, a couple of speakers and a TV and a desk. Now, while I could say that I was doing this because I'm a minimalist, essentialist connoisseur, uh, the real answer is I'm uh, I'm just lazy. The, the long story short is that I really only said I need the essential. I need a bed, I need a place to work, and a place to watch anime. That's that's really about it. But then I kind of sat there the other day and I, I, I realized like I have the coolest room in this house because I have the master bedroom and I'm not treating it like the master bedroom. So this needs to become like a palace, like a like a like a, a manifestation of my mind, so I can go into like my own little my own little palace here in my house. First things first, I need to get the room painted. I think this house is way too white. Like everything in this house is just white. As you can see, I've magnificently tried out many different grays and I found the best gray. All right, I know a lot of gray experts. All the gray experts say this gray is by far the best gray of all the grays. So today, we are going to gray it up. Yeah. What's you doing? <laughs> you just ruined my vibe completely. Oh, I am I am so sorry. I'll go back, I'll go away now. Yeah. Let's get some color on these walls. Let's get these walls grayed out. Then I can get the TV mounted, then I can get custom desks, then we can really build the foundation. Um, I've never painted a room before in my life. I have really no idea what I'm doing. The guy at Home Depot said just watch a couple YouTube videos and you'll be essentially a paint god, so uh, let's give it a try. So the plan was set. Since I had absolutely never painted anything before, we need to protect the room better than an anti-vaxxer Karen protected her kids from living normally. So I brought some friends in for fun B-roll and absolutely no help, while me and Les did the actual work of wrapping up the wall frames. And once this room was set, it was time for me to bring out the ultimate of painting tools. Les, being one of the prime residents of this room, what are, you, what are your feelings about, about the current state of this room? Uh, teenage boys have nice rooms. Oh! Ouch. <laughs> now I know you were thinking we were gonna use a traditional paint roller, you know, using all that basic bullshit, but no way, you know what we have to bring out, right? Yes. The gun! Pew pew! Pew 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 pew! On a scale of one to 10, how's it look so far? I'll give it a four. A four? <laughs> you want my full honesty? Yeah, dude, come on, bro. That's not even one word. That's fucking me. art. You don't even know what that is. I, I, That's I modern know. art, all right? Please explain People to me. People would pay a billion dollars for that. Symbolize. All right, hold this. I'll tell you what this symbolizes. Right, so you it. can see here that this is light and this is dark. Okay. And this middle area is the middle, okay? This symbolizes light, dark, good, bad, all right? This is a combination that sometimes we get mixed in the middle and, and the bad, Sometimes get mixed with the good, but you know what? In the end, it always makes something beautiful. Very deep, very deep. <laughs> That's about a uh, fucking two billion dollars right there, baby. Tell you what. What I have here is a Tac Life electric spray gun. Luckily, Andreas bought this thinking he was gonna paint his car, but he's probably never gonna do it. So we're gonna try to use this to spray paint the wall because I do not have the time or patience to do it myself. So it turns out the paint gun only works if you drive a Volkswagen or your name is Andreas. 
It literally does look like fun. I tried working that for like an hour and it wasn't playing with me. He picks up for two seconds and it just works. Bullshit. <laughs> Unfortunately, I quickly realized the paint gun creates a uneven coat and a massive amount of overspray. So I had to switch over to the ancient art of painting with your hands. With your hands. With your hands. Over the next couple hours with a combination of dubstep, Paul Billups, and White Claws, we were able to get almost the entire room done. But then I realized painting is actually hard as shit and I drunkenly passed out. Starting the day off fresh with a new clean mindset and an even cleaner blood alcohol level, we set out to vanquish the mighty beast of painting my room. Cue the badass montage music. This is uh, this is it. My room is officially painted. First step, I gotta say, it's probably the best room room's ever looked. Um, so, not gonna lie, pretty proud of this. It looks looks pretty good. All right, Home Depot would buy this. I'll tell you that they would buy this. I woke up today and I said the only thing left to do is I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna end the day watching Designated Survivor from the comfort of my bed on that wall. So the only thing I need to do now is mount this TV on that wall and call it a day. Oh, if only it was that simple, muchacho, because shortly after the drilling started, disaster struck. Oh, no way. No way. Two men from truck. Oh, what? What can, I, uh, what can I do for you guys? Can I help in any way? If you guys can just help me get it through the front door, we'll take care of it from there. You guys, you guys have already done your job once. I don't want you to have to do it again. Can I get you guys anything? Soda, water, beer? Hey, man, you know, when you're vlogging life, you gotta make sure we got the best of the best. Yeah. You guys... <laughs> oh, you really want to, if you really want to see the bachelor pad, here, here, bring, bring this one upstairs. I'll show you what the bachelor patch really looks like. <laughs> so we promised this was only necessary, only necessary furniture. Oh, yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, right here. You guys can just leave this stuff right here. You gotta take it all the way out. But it's a true bachelor pad. A true bachelor pad. We call it the 215. The 215? 215. 215. That's Philly area code. Philly area code. <laughs> I told Brandon that if we take the mattress to the backyard, I'm gonna go ahead and teach him how to wall flip. So let's see how this goes. It is in position. The bed's in position. We're learning how to do some backflips here today, boys. That's what I was telling you. <laughs> let's go, got a bed now, I'm not poor no more. So before I continue the vlog, here's the funny story about this bed set. You see, when I first moved into this house, I wanted a nice industrial platform bed that was modern looking and low to the ground because of my fear of the boogeyman. And after a quick search on Wayfair, I found what I knew would be a great option, but it was like a bajillion dollars. And I just completely forgot about it. That is until five months later when I found the same bed on Facebook Marketplace a whole lot cheaper. I knew I had to initiate my level 100 Skyrim speech skills and negotiate this bad boy home. Which brings us to today. <laughs> Now the bed was finally built, there was really only one thing left to do. All right, Paul, so what do we got going on here? Um, you know, we're mounting the TV. So here's the issue. We are trying to mount this no TV. Issues. No Here's issues. the situation. We're trying to mount this wall on the TV, and as we're about to put this wall on the TV, I realized that about three inches in, there's a nice concrete slab, and I'm like, let's just drill through that. And then Paul and came to me and said, wall on the TV twice. hey, we're gonna, if you mount this TV, there's a 50% chance that it might be successful, and there's another 50% chance that it might just drill through into your neighbor's wall. Pretty Which are odds I can live with. So, I gave Paul the all clear, and uh, Paul, despite his best intentions, said this was a great idea. Big ass fucking TV. Mouth. That's how you know it's a good fucking TV, because it's a fucking big TV, yeah. Baby, what's the in out of uh, the over under of this being successful? Um. You know what, I see it 100% successful, but in two weeks I see it at 0% <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, it'll mount today. Paul, I don't want to drop this TV. It, <laughs> look, if it goes in the cement, it should be fine. Cement is like, really strong. Bro, 
Paul, can you can you, can you show me the issue with these holes real quick here? No, let me let me explain this to you, okay? In 2008, peak depression, they offered to pay the contractors in cocaine instead of cash to build this house. Right here, you're like, it should be a two by four or something, metal. And then you go here, and it's like concrete. It, it doesn't make any sense, like at all. And you can like see where the previous people had also tried this technique and failed with multiple covered up holes. Oh. Because they had mounted a TV in the exact same spot. Oh. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Yo, and Drews came in here and just wrecked everything. He said, no, no TV. <laughs> <laughs> Andres, 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 look, step step in my office, step in my office for a second. Okay, okay, let's go to the laundry room. Okay. Oh right, no! Man, what's the plan? What's the what's the plan? <laughs> the plan is we need to get Paul Billups a Miller Light in order to encourage him to get this TV. Ah! My butt's too thick! Okay, here we go. Oh shit. Oh, you, dude, you like, you fit in there. Can we do it? I think we can do it. I think you can, you can. Can you just get your head in there? Dislocate my shoulder. That's it. That is actually it. All right. <laughs> and now I turn it on. Your stupid vlogs. <laughs> Fuck you and your vlogs, bro. I can't even have tequila and enjoy my fucking time here. Paul, I know you're strong because you're the only guy that I know that can hammer down a six pack at nine in the morning and still go to work. The legend of Paul Billups. The, legend the vlogs need to chill. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got the bracket on the wall. Wow! Good TV, oh, good TV. Fuck, man. Les, how, how fucking sexy does that TV look right now? Super fucking sexy. I bet you hear that, boys. It's super fucking sexy. Um, Brandon, I just want to let you know this is uh, B-roll content. This is titled Tyler uh, T-Rod Eating Peanut M&Ms. Take one. <laughs> it's a beer. It's a fine Pilsner. It's a fine Pilsner beer. Dude, I was fucking wow. heartbroken for a second because I plugged it into the outlet behind the TV that and was it wasn't fun. turning on. Yeah. And I literally was like gonna cry because I was like, I can't believe we did all this work to cover this outlet and the outlet doesn't work. But the actual truth was, is that I didn't plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, it's beautiful! I got Disney Plus, Tubi, I got... Shit, I deserve I don't even know what half of those are. <laughs> So here's what's going on, and I'm gonna tell you what's going on, what's been going on, and we're gonna continue to go on. So I have the coolest room in the house right now. That's a fact. And um, Brennan's, he's, listen, you know what, I'll give Kenny what Kenny to do. He's made some improvements to his dwelling, and the quality, it's improved. <laughs> but, in no I am a man, I am a man of the finer things in life. I am a man of absolutely the best and as a result I ordered some very special articles for my room which were supposed to come next Sunday however Jeff Bezos loves me and he moved it up to this weekend so my reign my room this man says my reign will end with this special arrival of things what will it be what do you think Les Tyler literally on his phone trying to buy some new articles for his room to re-pep it up. Whatever, Extras. dude. Just follow me. Extras. Follow me. Extras. What is that? that you might say? A fountain. Oh wow. Oh a fountain. Whoa. Whoa. Little upgrades. I'm not gonna lie. Very nice. Live knife chilling out. Very nice. Well, yeah, I had to cut the leather. Chipotle is on the floor. Very nice. We got a lot of content coming in. Oh, yeah? All right, everyone. It's a vlog. It's a vlog. I'm about to instill some ancient Japanese wisdom. Oh, no. On you. So, it's definitely the ancient Japanese, they had this thing. They call it... It also makes the bike lighter. Kaizen. Kaizen. <laughs> Look at the definition. A Japanese business philosophy of continuous improvement of working practices, personal efficiency, etc. So my room is practicing the Kaizen philosophy. Wow. And it's constantly improving, <laughs> leveling up, and reaching new heights. So, I just want to let you know that when you think that my room has gotten the coolest that it can get and it can't possibly get any cooler, I'll tell you what, it can. 
Because I'm Kaizening! I am always evolving, always thinking. Okay, thank you. <laughs> wow, Boom. that's tough to follow. <laughs> All right, so enough of Tyler's mumbling. Here you have it, the true best room of the house. Okay, so look around. This, uh, this is pretty awesome. It's been about five months just to get here and there's still so much I have to do. Uh, personally, I love having the music table on the left, the low platform bed in the middle, and I have the, 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 the technology in this room is awesome. Having the TV and the Alexas all synced together. Overall, I gotta say for a project that like I just decided to do randomly, this came out pretty good. Obviously, we have a long way to go. I don't even really have pillows on this bed. Um, but we're getting there. And that's that's kind of the cool thing about everything is that it's always a work in progress and it never, never really ends. I think your room is probably one of the most important places in your entire life because it's the first place you see when you wake up and it's also the last thing you see before you go to sleep. And you really want to kind of create an environment that fuels you with energy in the morning and gets you ready to go. And at the end of the day, it lets you calm down to, to reconstruct into your own mind. Um, and I think that's what I've got here. I really, really can't wait to read um, and draw and make content in this area. And uh, yeah, it's just a damn good looking room. Overall guys, if you guys are enjoying the series, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure to like the video and maybe hit subscribe so I can pay my bills. <laughs> But above everything else, guys, for the nine people that actually watch this show, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in on my life. I know there was a lot of subscribers that just wanted to watch business-related content, and I haven't really been delivering that, mainly because we have to put projects above actual uh, work. Uh, long story short, I am thinking about moving more of the personal content, maybe to an After Hours channel, maybe like Icon After Dark, I'm not really sure. Um, but essentially, uh, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. They do make me really happy that other people do enjoy them. Um, and I kind of more just make them for me and that's why I'll keep making them because, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I think watching back these videos is one of the most rewarding things. Like I always wanted to be a YouTuber that vlogs my life and yeah, like nobody really watches these videos, but you know what? It, it makes me happy and, and it's cool to look back on and, uh, and that's really, I think all you need to do to do. I mean, Mr. Beast made roughly about 2,000 videos before any single one of them got over 5,000 hits. So we'll see what happens. Um, but until next time, guys, stay tuned, stay subscribed, and stay happy. All right, anyways, I'll see you on the next one. Yeah!